Monday morning and welcome to build week 16 we have a few things going on at the house today we have the trenching equipment here and they're digging the trenches for the power gas sewer and water Grove deploys a uh, step septic system uh, a little bit different than just connecting to a city sewer so you need a uh, tank, and so they're digging a hole this morning to uh, install that tank, which will be dropped tomorrow morning. And uh, go get all of the sewer connected, the water's on this side, power and electrical on the opposite side. So getting close to getting the trenches dug for all of that. Good morning, Mr. Rickman. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Digging a trench. Dig trenches, we're gonna dig your tank. Dig it all. You gonna drop the tank here? I'm about to find out. You gonna have this dug today? You gonna to call for a tank tomorrow morning? Yep. We have the electrical service. Robbins Electric is here and they're mounting the panels on the side of the house uh, that'll bring power in and then bring them into the panels that are here in the garage. And so we've got a 400 amp service, so should be uh, plenty of power for the house. There's a couple of the tiling folks here. Uh, one of the gentlemen is working on finishing up uh, installing the tile in the master bath. It's really looking good. The combination of the black tile and that gray tile is really pretty. I think that's going to be very nice. There's another gal here that's uh, started in on the grouting. So she's working on grouting. Um, and they've gotten some of the grouting done so far, but there's still some more grouting to do. Mr. Rickman dropped by this morning, got a chance to talk to him, and they had pushed back by one day, dropping the trim package. Some of the materials hadn't come in yet, so they're gonna drop that on Wednesday this week instead of tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, the trim carpenters are planning on starting on Thursday, so that'll be interesting to watch as we finish up week 16. Mr. Rickman said that they're planning on dropping the stone for the facades and the back chimney on next Monday. And so that'll get done next week. That'll prepare us for being able to get started on the roof. Once they've done the chimney in the back, they'll be able to start roofing and it'll be nice to get the roof on. We had purchased some mahogany butcher block for the 
counter and desktops in the office and they've arrived and so they're here. We checked the moisture content today and they're right around 9%, so not too bad. Ideal would be 6, 7, but uh, given the humidity here, that's not very, very bad. So I think we still got a week or more that we can let that kind of come down a little bit. So should be good. Should be another great week of progress. So come along and uh, watch as we continue our onslaught on getting this thing done. Good Tuesday morning. We are experiencing some overcast and rainy looking conditions today. This is the aftermath of the tropical storm Cristobal that hit the Gulf yesterday. And so we're gonna get some of it today, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be too bad, but definitely gonna get some rain today. I'm on my way out to the house. Not sure really what's gonna be happening today. Uh, so it might not be as terribly productive today, but we'll go out and take a look and see if there's anything of interest to get video of today. Well, we have one heck of a big hole in the front yard. There's a, uh, it looks like it's supposed to be a 1500 gallon concrete tank that's part of the septic system that they use here in the Grove. And so we'll give you kind of a look at that. It's uh, pretty interesting, uh, but boy, they had to do some serious digging to get this thing in here. I'll take a walk over now. On the other side of the house, they uh, were hooking up the uh, electrical yesterday. It looks like they made the connection, so let's go take a look at that. So we have power. So they uh, made the connection. I don't know if it's hot yet or not, but uh, they definitely made the connection out to the street. So we do have uh, an electrical connection to the house. So that's really great. Taking just a minute to uh, hang out on my back porch. We're getting ready to get rained on here. Not that much going on today. Uh, kind of quiet around here, which Actually, isn't that bad. <laughs> Just kind of hanging out, sitting on the porch, enjoying the trees behind the house. Pretty nice. And I spoke to the young man who's still working on the tile and the master. He thinks it's going to take him uh, through tomorrow, Wednesday, to actually finish in there. They've been grouting, so some of it's grouted, some of it's not but uh, he's still working on the shower which is a pretty big project but he's gaining on it and it's looking really good good wednesday morning as promised the trim package was dropped off this morning and we got some video of that for you has been finished as far as installation. Uh, there's one person still out here working on getting the grouting done, but I anticipate that all of the tile work, including the grouting, will all be done by the end of the day today.
next one. Woo! That was the one we were looking for. That's how you, that's how you touch the right mountain. Yeah. Good Thursday morning. It is a gorgeous morning this morning. The storms from Cristobal are out and very nice, not humid. It's 68 degrees this morning. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to play golf this afternoon, have a 210 tee time. That'll be awesome. As you can see behind me, uh, the trim carpenters are here in force. Uh, they've got like three vans here, so I haven't been inside yet, so let's go in and see what's going on. The trim carpenters are distributing the doors throughout the house. At the factory, they are uh, pre-hung and then disassembled for shipment. Uh, the doors that we have ordered are a solid core MDF. They're very heavy, which I'm gonna like, I think, once they get installed. But for the guys, <laughs> it's pretty heavy picking up those doors. But they're all numbered and they're distributing them throughout the house, so getting ready to install the doors. We had Russell Branion from 31 Coatings out this morning to measure the garages. We're gonna put epoxy on the garage floors. So he got the measurements so he can prepare a quote for us. So we'll be looking for that quote in the next couple of days. a light gray yeah. and so I think I would just do that light gray on the block as well okay the tile guys aren't quite done yet they uh, still have some grouting to do and I assume they'll be back today so <laughs> it's taking longer than we all expected but uh, it'll get done it's kind of dark in here and I don't have my light on my camera but I hope you can see the uh, the grout in the black tile behind me, it, it's white on the black tile, so it really pops. It looks great. I'm excited about this. I think we get this uh, in with all the glass. Ooh, boy, it's going to be nice. I spoke to Brad Rickman about getting that mount flush on this fireplace. He met with Billy from Prodigy and they kind of worked out how that was going to happen and the trim carpenter is actually going to do the work to create a recess that will keep that mount uh, basically about an inch and a half recessed so that the TV will stay as close to the wall as possible. I haven't spoken to Mr. Rickman yet, but I assume they're waiting on inspections for the septic system trenches and the power trenches before they can backfill them and fill them in. So hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to Mr. Rickman today and find out what the status is. Happy Friday everyone! It's uh, officially the end of Build Week 16 and it's been another banger week. We've gotten a lot done. Uh, the 
tractor is here today to cover up the uh, trenches for power, sewer, and water. So that means we've successfully gotten the inspections for those. And that means we're going to be dropping the gray stone for the facade on Monday. So that should be great watching those guys get to work on that. I was speaking with the trim carpenters and they felt like it was going to be a two week exercise for them to finish everything, which means we're already one week in on that. So I, I don't know how they will get it all done in one more week, but they're going along pretty good. They've got all the doors hung and they're trimming out the doors and they'll start doing crown molding and baseboard molding for the rest of the house so that'll be uh, that'll be fun to watch as well it's official the tile is done so all of it's been grouted now looks great I like uh, each of the bathrooms so looking good so this is officially the end of build week 16 and we're looking forward to build week 17 Come on back for the next episode.